puppies. Hmm. So I am super stressed. My mom is. Oh, I'm gonna cry. No, I'm not going to. But I can't get too emotional because my jaw really hurts on this side. I mean, it hurts on this side too, but like really hurts on the side like they even smile which is really weird and I don't know why it does but um I didn't show you the picture of my tooth because I want to do like a side by side before and after and this is still the temporary tooth so you're just gonna have to wait and my little face is swollen um uh, but anyways my mom is leaving on Friday to go to Florida because that's where she lives and I'm very sad and I am a worrier. I'm sorry, I apologize. I know that God does not want us to be worriers. My life verse is Matthew 6:34. I know this. I know it. But my human nature, my flesh is always wanting to worry. Ugh. Okay. So She's leaving Friday, which I did not know. I thought she was leaving next Friday. And I don't know. I just, she's my primary caregiver. So my dad takes very good care of me while she's gone. But usually she's not gone for this long. So she'll be gone for like three weeks and he'll be taking care of me. He usually does a pr pr pretty good job. I mean, he doesn't do like chit chat with me or like sit and cry with me kind of thing I mean my mom doesn't sit and cry with me but like she'll listen to me and whatnot but uh, he's very good with like doing like my wash if I need it or um, helping me change my sheets or um, meals and things like that so he's really good with that and my, he's my dad's an excellent cook so it's awesome so I don't end up like putting on like 20 pounds or losing 20 pounds when my mom's here. And then my best friend, Lindsay, who y'all have seen but not met, I am going to do a video with her. I'm just, if you guys have any recommendations for a video editing software, I guess it doesn't matter if it costs because I can't get Movie Maker installed on my computer and Microsoft wants to take my computer and to put it back to manufacturer default and I'm really worried about that and so oh, I can't express the emotion that I feel toward that um, so yeah I'm just super stressed and I shouldn't be I know everything's gonna be fine it's going to be really fun to have Lindsay staying here with me. Um, I just get stressed out. Why I just worry about like really stupid stuff that like probably in a million years would never happen. But yeah, no, that's, that's, that's what it is. But I've also had a lot of anxiety today too. So, um, if it doesn't give up here pretty easily, I have found, and this is probably due to my codependency, but I don't take my medication for my anxiety when I freaking need it. Like I get to the end of the month or I look to see if like I can fill my my anxiety medication and I'm like, why do I have so much of this crap? Like there are so many times that I needed it. And I just I think that there's like something wrong. I beat up on myself and like I even get to points where I'm like, you don't deserve to have relief. And that's not, that hasn't happened in a really, really long time. But there's been times where I've had panic attacks and that's what I say to myself. I'm like, don't take my medicine. So now, like, I remember my mom saying, like, when I would get migraines, because what would happen is I would get migraines and then I'd make them 10,000 times, oh, 10,000 times worse by crying and being like hysterical and so she, sometimes she would give me my anxiety medication 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 with I haven't even taken it and I'm like slurring my speech um medication with it and it would help so much because it would calm me down so she's like she's always saying to me like and just take your medicine like when you if you need it take it 
Um, so I am not doing that today. Hmm. But I'm thinking about it now. <laughs> So anyways, that's just the story of my hypocrisy, I guess. I don't know why I tell you guys half the stories I tell, but I hope they make you laugh, and I hope they make you smile. I hope you're having a pain-free, stress-free day, and as always, mm -hmm, I will talk to you tomorrow. Bye!